Hi folks, in this video I would like to show you my personal concepts of plugin EQs. Uh, I'd like to emphasize that this is strictly my personal opinion. Uh, I'm not a professional and this is completely subjective. Okay, um, I'm going to show you um, a uh, selection of EQ plugins I use. I like to show you how I use them and why I use them and what uh, my philosophy is behind using them. All right, first to start with uh, the built in EQ plugins from Cubase are completely usable. So if you uh, use them, I think you are quite comfortable already. Um, but for special purposes, you will need third-party plugins. Okay, let's start with the uh, built-in um, channel strip uh, EQ from Cubase. I used it, for example, on the kick drum in this song. And as you see, I made some uh, adjustments. Uh, we will listen uh, to this later. Um, I think this EQ uh, can be used on uh, instruments or also background vocals which are not too important for the mix and which don't to have stand out from the mix. Um, if you um, don't overdo your adjustments, uh, this EQ sounds okay. It's a workhorse, doesn't need too much uh, CPU time. And yeah, I think you can use it for nearly everything. Uh, it's just if you make very extreme adjustments and tweaks, you will so you will um, hear the, the filter sound from this EQ. It will sound harsh or somewhat artificial. And if this is the case, the next logical step would be another uh, Q-based built-in EQ, which is the Studio EQ. I hope I find it. Ah, I used it on the snare drum and made only a very small adjustment. So if um, you feel comfortable with the um, normal EQ um, plugin, but it sounds a bit artificial, maybe sh you should use the uh, Studio EQ, which, which sounds better and has uh, less uh, IQ artifacts. Okay, so much for the built-in uh, EQs. The next choice for me is the uh, Cambridge EQ from the UAD, which I use here and here. Maybe show you the adjustment for the bass guitar. And I'm uh, very um, pleasurized by this EQ. It sounds very sweet and nice, it sounds neutral, so you can use it as a kind of surgical instrument for adjusting uh, frequency, frequencies for um, um, reducing frequencies which, which are disturbing. And I especially love the, the um, high pass feature where you can um, adjust very steep high pass filters for um, reducing the uh, very low end. But you can use it on any frequency and I think the results um, will always be pleasant, maybe not outstanding or special, but the results will always be pleasant. So if you have this EQ, I think 90% um, of your sound can be um, mixed with this EQ. Okay, now we go into the uh, area of special EQs. One of my favorites is uh, the UAD Pultec EQ. It's a vintage, uh, rebuild of a vintage EQ. It's uh, valve tube based, uh, the original. And it has a very special and sweet sound. It's, you, you can call it a sweetening. EQ, 
if you like. I'm not going to explain it in detail. There are lots of other tutorials about this EQ, but whenever you want to sweeten something uh, uh, in the highs or lows, then I think this EQ is a very good choice. I, as you can see here, use it very often on vocals, also on instruments, and I even use it sometimes on the mix bus. My next choice, uh, also very often for um, vocals, if you want the vocals to sound special, I'm a huge fan of the Harrison EQ, also made by UAD. I read that this is a copy of the um, um, famous uh, console from Bruce Wedin, who mixed the Michael Jackson records on this. But anyway, I use it because uh, it's sweet for my ears. I like the sound very much and um, I will uh, show you later an audio example how this IQ sounds. Okay, what else have we got? All right, last but not least, um, the UAD uh, SSL. Uh, in my opinion, this is an IQ to be used if you want to bring up instruments or also vocals to the front. So uh, this EQ, how would you call it, it sounds powerful, it has a strong edge, a very special sound and makes your uh, tracks stand out in the mix. And in this song I used this EQ especially for the guitars. Okay, uh, so much for the EQs I currently used. I have also some other EQs which I don't use so often, but I plan to use them more often. Uh, I show them here. It's the T-Rex uh, linear phase EQ. Um, I bought it because um, at the moment I'm quite fascinated with the with um, MS EQing. MS is mid-band, side-band EQing. Also, I don't want to explain this. There are zillions of um, Q, um, uh, Q-based tutorials in the internet, so if you want to know about some something about mid and side pen EQing or linear phase EQing, you can watch them. Okay, the next one, very special. I used it in one of my current uh, productions and it's a dynamic IQ. I will uh, give you an example later uh, what this means. Um, this is one feature I like very much with this EQ and it also has um, mid and sideband routing which um, is very easy to use in my opinion and it, it has a um, really fascinating um, feature showing this uh, spectrum and with this EQ you can also overlay different uh, spectrums from different tracks and you can compare them and you can um, analyze and adjust your um, equalizer settings accordingly. I will show you later. And last but not least, also another fascinating EQ from Melda Productions from Czechos, uh, you know, it's Czechia, I don't know how it is called in English. German, it's Tschechien. Um, this is a quite um, new company and they make very, very um, imaginative and creative plugins. And also um, with this equalizer, it's um, um, very cheap but very good, I think. Uh, it has powerful modulation um, abilities. Um, which are the other EQs don't have, I must say. And it also has an interesting uh, concept for editing um, separate the left or right side or the mid or the sideband. Okay, so this is the first introduction. 